What's going on guys? Super exciting video today. Right over here. Finally we get to see Diego's bug eye again. Uh, Diego has been finishing up school. He's all done now so he's going to be in the videos a lot more now. But for today, we have a lot of goodies for the bug eye. So let's walk over here. First thing Diego got is this JDM Pro Drive front bumper for the bug eye. Uh, this took actually like three or four months to find. Very hard to find JDM parts. Um, I like this one because it almost gives it like an STI look and it's super clean once it's actually color matched and mounted onto the car. The second thing we got are these Moret headlights. These are, these are also JDM so they're very difficult to find. I think this was probably harder to find than the Pro Drive. Mm -hmm. um, these are the ones I actually had on my bug eye. What you do for the for that aggressive look is you color match this to the car, this top piece, and then the bottom piece right here. It almost gives it like that mean look since bug eyes aren't very mean looking. So we got these second part. Once we get everything color matched, that's when it's gonna stand out a lot more. Another thing is this is Diego's stock grill. This is the bug eye stock grill. His is missing the emblem. Um, luckily I had my old one. So this is this one has the emblem. I kind of wish I would have kept my Pro Drive grill. That way I could have given it to Diego right now, but oh well. So this is the similarities between the Pro Drive and the 05 STI. So it kind of has this similar fog lamp cover right here. It's got these little like canard things right here, which the STI one has as well. So I think this is going to look a lot cleaner compared to this one. So for those of you that follow us on Instagram, you have already seen how the car looks with the Pro Drive and the Moretz, but we had to show you guys on the videos. So we're going to install that today and then just to get a feel of what it looks like. Unpainted, of course. We already took off this headlight, took off that one just to save us some time. Now we're going to move on to the bumper. So you're going to need a 10 millimeter ratchet. First thing we did was take off three bolts. There's one right here and uh, there's two right here kind of hidden. You unplug the battery before you start taking off all these wires right here and like the box right here. So I'll just do this real fast. Let's take off the headlight. It's got to come in here. Take off this one. Pull it. And then you want to take off this one right here. Slowly grab everything. All tangled up. And then you got the lights off. So the next thing with uh, the front bumper is going to be these clips right here. My bumper might be a little bit different. Um, I had to mess with it. First we got these right here. We're gonna take those off. So there's gonna be two clips right here guys, right here, and it's gonna be in between the fender and right here. These are where the trick is for me to find. You kind of just have to move this like little tray or this protector. We took a flathead and we just, it was a longer one and we just kind of messed with it and we took both of them off. So that's gonna be the, the hardest one right there. But there's also one right here. Just gonna mess with it. Ready? Yeah. Got it? Yep. There it is. So when you have all the clips removed, you just kind of want to like tug the bump a little. One. Look how it looks from here. It's all messed up from the bottom. Compared to the other one right over here. Yeah, the blue one's pretty beat up. It's like a slide, yeah. So you just gotta slide them in? Yeah. So same exact process, except backwards. So you're gonna slide it in first, and then put all the clips back in. Then if it's perfect, if it's pretty flush, look at that. 
perfect fitment. Perfect. So other side, same thing. The fitment is like on point, huh? It looks pretty good, man. So the weird thing about this bumper is that it has like this black plastic thing under it, kind of like trucks. In the near future, I'm gonna be taking off the whole bumper and then um, custom kind of like butchering that to put a lip on. So hopefully that comes in like two weeks. So there's all the clips, putting them back on. Looks clean, dude. Let us know what you guys think. I, I like it. Can't wait to get it, get it painted. Yeah, as soon as it's color match, it's gonna be a whole different car. So now we're gonna go ahead and get the morettes, install these. So these lights are just plug and play. They got the small yeah. wire to small wire right here. I went to and then the big one to big one. So it should be pretty easy. Ooh. I went to Rini yesterday and they were having a sale on it. So I got this one for like a... I'm just slipped the HIDs in. Oh, and everything. <laughs> and they're in. Fitment is like on point. No gaps or anything. You went on top, right? So last thing guys, just plug in your battery, test the lights before you actually bolt them back. Yep. We're good. Blinkers. Yep, 10 millimeter. You got one there, one on the bottom of that, and then the top one right here. And the grill is the last piece. So this is the last piece I picked up. It's a cold air intake. It's probably gonna be going on in the next couple of days. Um, Danny has one too, so yeah, we'll see how Sounds it crazy. So that's the full look, guys. I do got a couple things coming for the car. There's gonna be an 05 SCI hood scoop. I'm planning on getting some BC coilovers, Pro Drive grill. I'm gonna get that custom lip put on. And then, you know what? I'm gonna probably get this car sent to paint and then stage two. Start messing with the engine more. So stay tuned for that. So that's the final look of the car. Obviously, once it's color matched, it'll look a lot, lot more aggressive and nicer. What do you think so far, Diego? You no, know, I'm happy I got these parts. They were a pain in the ass to get my hands on, but you know, Moretz, Pro Drive Bumpers on. Uh, so hopefully in the next couple months, you know, it might be finished, so. So that was a good install, guys. Uh, Moret and the Pro Drive bumper, they went on really easily, no problems. Fitment's great, it looks great. The only thing it needs now is that Pro Drive grill to finish it off. But we're gonna get some rollers of the car see how it looks rolling on the street and we will catch you guys in the next video.